What to do with your boy Tealy and I'm back with another crazy reaction. Not a crazy one, but uh, this one ain't crazy. But I'm back with a fire reaction. Today we're going to be, I guess, reacting to part two of uh, Jeremy Swartz finally speaks on Bernie Mac's passing. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's Jordan, the boy Jordan off of uh, Bernie Mac. Um, he's speaking on the passing of when, uh, it's when it led up to Bernie Mac passing, man. RIP to Bernie Mac, too. Man. So we're just going to dip into this, see his response to that. I mean, we were worried about him. I didn't, I mean, I don't think we ever, I know I didn't know the severity of it. I didn't know anything about sarcoidosis at the time. So I didn't know um, that it was ultimately going to, you know, be the end of him. But we were worried about him, and he was always, um, he was always adamant about putting on a strong face for everybody. Cause he didn't want to be the reason why nobody could, couldn't come back to work. You know, we had over over like 300 employees, you know, working on the set. So he was like, I'm not going to be the reason why nobody has no job, you know? So it, while we knew it was hard, he kept the brunt of it from us for that last maybe maybe last six months of, of filming he was on oxygen so bernie was literally like if we were filming here there was an oxygen tank right there so and it had gotten worse so we didn't know what was going to happen but we always had a thing where no one ever said goodbye we just walked out the door because we always knew we was coming back and um generally we'd be gone for about a three month break or so and then we would come back and start filming again um, so that three month break turned into a four month break and we're like, hmm, what's going on? And a four month break turned into a five month break. And you know, at one point, maybe six, seven months down the line, we got a call saying, oh, you're not coming back officially. Um, so I wish the transition process was a little bit more, uh, official because we never really got a chance to, you know, to tell everybody, you know, to give everybody these flowers and say, hey, you know, this is the last time we're going to see everybody. But that was just kind of the nature of our set, and that's how we were, you know? Yeah. I had gotten a call maybe about, maybe like a week prior, and that he was in the hospital. And, um, I don't know, I, I, I never really thought it was going to be, like I said, Bernie was some, like, superhero figure to me, you know? So I never, I couldn't see him keeling over or anything, so there's, um... So it was mostly just surprised when I heard, even when he was in the hospital, I said, is he okay? And they go, yeah, you know, they think he's okay. And three days later, Damn. they're like, oh, he, you know, is, I said, is he out of the hospital? They said, no, he should be there a few more days. And then two, three days later, he's gone. So it was just a shock. Well, I mean, at that point, we were, um, we were on our hiatus. That was that last kind of, you know, um, we all, I remember we all called each other and we were all kind of just as surprised as we were. We all um, got together. I'm trying to think whose house it was. I mean, it may have been Camille's house where we all went and we're, you know, just kind of had this moment, you know, to really celebrate him. And that's something we always yeah. did. Because you know. Bernie Mac is a, is a legend, bro, in the uh, comedian world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? That, that man is a legend, you know what I'm saying, the comedian world, bro. He, uh, sorry for that. Um, he brought a lot to the comedian world, you know what I'm saying, and to that show, man. I, that was one of my favorite shows, too, I ain't gonna lie. Bernie Mac show, you cut Jordan, bro. Him and Jordan, they was the main ones that would, bro, that would have me rolling, for real, man. So, RP to Bernie Mac, man, for real. Um, so that was basically when that tra um, that tradition started up, where we just realized that he just brought a lot to the table that him. could have like, man, the world, in, in a real world of like, know him like being a comedian, they don't know one part of him. But we were lucky enough to get close to him to actually know the whole Bernie Mac. So that's yeah. what we wanted to do. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, like I say, R.I.P. said Bernie Mac, bro. It's uh. It's sad, man, because if he would have still been here, you know what I'm saying, he, he wasn't old as hell, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't old, Bernie Mac wasn't old, he still had, he's, he's about to, bro, him, Charlie Murphy, like a lot of the legends in the comedian world, they were still here, 
I don't know. It probably would have still been the same, but it probably would have been like even better. You know what I'm saying? Because they brought a lot to the table that people didn't even realize until they was gone. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like up, man. Comment what y'all want me to uh, react to. You know what I'm saying? Hit me in social media. Hit me in social media real. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. We're going to roll to 100K subscribers, man. I appreciate everybody that watches, like, all that stuff, man. So, yeah. We out. <laughs>